with our pockets light as a feather, we had to start from the bottom. We built a ramshackle newsstand and sold others' newspapers. But paper by paper, we started to build our own story. We called our newspaper the Goat Gazette. Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is News Tower, and this is the Goat Gazette, a little homage to our uh, City Skylines series. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome to this brand new game. This is the News Tower, as I said. This is a game based on building your own news stand, your own newspaper, starting out in the 1930s, which is a cool concept. We start out with our own little building here and basically nothing to go with. I have played a little bit of this game, but I haven't got into some of the new updates that have just come out. So we've got photographers, illustrators, and cartographers just added to the game. I haven't played with those at all. I also haven't played anything with ads. So we'll get into that as we go. But the first things first, we need to get our staff set up. We need to get our building set up and get off the ground. So we're gonna start out by just buying a couple of floors here. And we need to start laying this thing out. So if we hit B, we'll get into the build menu here. Start out with a couple of staircases. The staircases do need to connect to the main door. So that goes there and that goes there. You can also build in the middle. You see it sort of snaps to where you can build them so they connect. Stairs are all behind the doors so they don't take up space. So that is nice. Now, as we are thinking about what we need to do here, one of the first things we want our reporters to do when they come back from getting their stories is hand their stories off to our typesetters and our assembly tables. So I'm thinking we start out with typesetting desks either side of the door. That way reporters can come straight in and leave their stories with the typesetters. From there, the typesetters will hand those off to the assembly tables. So I'm thinking they'll go right next to that. As for the story above them, I know that I want a bathroom in here somewhere. So I believe that's under employee needs. We'll need at least one toilet, but I'm thinking probably two, as well as a sink, which I believe is in comfort, yes. So we'll chuck a sink right in the middle there. Leave a bit of a gap, that should be fine. We'll actually put this right up against the door. Why not? Against the wall, rather. And that should be all good to go. Throw a little mirror in there for them to use there. And that should be that ready and good to go. The next thing we need is a reporting desks. And I want quite a few of these. I'm thinking we go for four reporters to start with. And that should be enough. The only other thing we... Well, there's two more things we need. We need telegraphing stations. I believe we can have three of these to start with. So they can run in right next to the reporters. That should be fine. And finally, we need to actually get our printer set up. So we are going to output on the right hand side, get two pages to start with and an input module. And that should be all good. We'll connect them with a printer belt. And that's the generalized layout of our building. Now I'm gonna go off camera for a little bit here. Well, not off camera. I'm gonna do a little time lapse uh, and just fancy this up a little bit and then we'll come back once our entire building is all sorted and good to go. So. Give me a second, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, while we are setting this up, I have run out of money. That is fine, I knew that was gonna happen. So we are actually gonna take out a loan. If you click on the little budget thing up here, you can actually take a loan here. It took me a little while to figure out that this was actually here. Uh, but yes, you could take a loan. We're gonna take out like $4,000. It's gonna be 4% interest, which is basically nothing. And we can pay back as much of this as we can before the week is over, so we won't get charged that interest. So that is what we're gonna do there. Back to the designing. And with that, I believe that is everything we need to run our own newspaper. Now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and hire ourselves some employees. We still have $1,900 left, including our loan, obviously. So 
chances are we'll probably burn through a lot of that, but we'll see how we go. If we zoom in here, we can get this pretty much centered over this side. Basically, as long as we're not missing anything here, we're just going to take everyone that we can. I don't think we're missing any stories. Let me just have a quick look. We have crime, we have economy, entertainment, politics, society, and sports. Crime, politics, sports, entertainment, society, and politics. Yeah, we should be good to go there, I think. I think we've got everything there. So we're just going to hire all four of these guys. Let's see, who has overlap? So we have crime on both of these guys, so they could probably be next to each other. And then we have society on both of these guys, as well as economy on both of these guys, so they should probably be next to each other. And then if we can connect the other two, that would be good. If we go you here, you here, uh, you both have entertainment, so you can go there and then you can go there. That is our reporting done and dusted. Next thing we need is our production stuff, which shouldn't be too much of a problem here. We have typesetters. We have basically just typesetters and one person who's good at uh, being a telegrapher. So we'll definitely get one of the telegraphers in there. And then we have two typesetters. So they can go on the typesetting desks and we'll go ahead and re-roll this to try and get some people with the actual, uh, what's it called, assembling skill. Uh, we get one, so that's a good start. We have another typesetter slash uh, uh, telegrapher. So I'm gonna go for the two telegraphers here, I think, just because I want them to have the skill for sure. And then we could hire this guy as our final assembler. And I think we will, he'll level up over time. So that should be fine. The only thing left to do is hire our utility staff. So these guys are actually all pretty good. These two can do anything they want. This guy is good. Oh, this lady is good at resupply and sweeping. We do have sweeping in there. So this will probably be our resupplier. This one can be our maintenance on the workbench. And you can be our washing station. And then this person can just sweep. Actually, no, they don't have that skill. So we're going to have to reset. And hopefully we get someone who's decent at sweeping. We do. And that is all good to go. We should be up and running. If we go to our needs view, I think that's what it's called. Uh, our comfort view is what it's called. It'll show us where we have problems. So obviously the printing room is loud and gross and no one wants to be in there. Thankfully, they don't go in there too often and it shouldn't be affecting too much. Everywhere else has a little bit of green, which is what we want to see. Now, we do need to feed our employees. They basically just eat water, which is fine by me, until we can unlock some more things. And we also need to make sure our printers are stocked with paper. We have 100 paper right now, but that's probably not going to be enough. So I'm actually going to order a large delivery of 300 for another $600. And then if we check our food, we have a total supply of 20. That is also not going to be enough. So let's just go ahead and get 200 in. That'll bring us down to 535, so we're not going to be able to pay back any of our loan. But that's that. Now, we just need to start running the game, get some stories in, and we can send our reporters out. So the way that I like to play this is a little bit micromanagey um, and a little bit precise. I like to have the game paused at all times, and then you can actually hold a key that I've rebound here uh, to my mouse, but you can hold down a key. I think it's the period key by default. And that will fast forward time without unpausing. So if I hold that down, I can do it and then it will play. Unfortunately, it looks like, no, it does. It doesn't, it doesn't unpause. For some reason it did the first time I did it, but that's how we'll run this. And we can open up our globe view on the side just to make sure that we don't miss when a story comes in. But what we're watching for is these to fill up. Once these fill up, we'll have a story that we can send our reporters out to do. Before we do that, I did just realize that I forgot one very important thing. We have reporting accessories, which is globes, which will increase the society skill. And it will also buff the, the telegraphers. I don't know why I'm struggling to say that word so hard. So we want definitely one globe on each of these desks. And you see that little blue 
mark, that means it's going to buff that person. That means they have that skill and it will affect them. So it looks like these two here, see how they're blue and these ones are gray. If I put a globe on these guys' desks, it won't do anything because they don't have any um, any skill in society. So we just want to put it on the two reporters' desks that do have that skill, and then we should be good to go. Open up the globe again. Oh, actually, <laughs> one more thing we need to check. We also have production accessories. That doesn't affect us right now because, well, it does. We've already put them on the tel um, telegraph desks, so that should be fine. Open up the globe, fast forward time just a little bit, and we get three new stories coming in. Go ahead and send our uh, reporters out. So we have police car explodes on main road. This is going to be society and politics or crime. So this symbol here means that we can choose between the two. We would probably want to go for the politics story just because it's got two tags instead of one the more of these tags you can collect in your stories the more people will want to read your thing but we can also get buffs because we have a couple of stories that are also crime related we can choose to do the crime lose a tag but we'll get a buff because we can have more than one crime story on a page so this one is going to be society to start with it's going to tell us that we can cancel it with that button up there. We don't care about that right now. I just want to have a look at these and make sure that we've got the reporters to do it. This one, we get a choice straight away. We can either go for economy or crime. Good to know. And then this one here is going to be society as well. So I'm thinking we do crime for this. So we'll start off with the society, send them out. We have a recession on the loose. We'll make this one crime story. Uh, which should be absolutely fine. And then we'll go for this one. Observation guides schools is just a basic, uh, what, what is that? Society story and we'll unlock a new object once that is done. And again, we just hold down that button, let our reporters do their thing. And then once we get some stuff happening here, they'll bring those stories back, give them to the typesetters. The typesetters will give them to the assemblers and then we can use them in our newspaper. Uh, I'm also going to turn off the comfort view those hotkeys are one two and three if you were curious but ness let's go into police car explodes on main road we now have a choice to make right we can either go for the police office or the police station uh damage to the police station which would be a politics story but we want crime unfortunately this guy's hands are full so that just means that he's currently walking back into the room. That should clear up in just a second. But while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and check this out. We get a brand new item, which is a solar system poster, which buffs a skill. So we'll make sure we put that up right away. We go into our build mode. You can see a little exclamation mark here saying that we have a new thing. And this is gonna buff our society skill. And this is why I wanted to put these guys together. This means that they can share it and we can put that above both of their desks and they'll both get a nice little buff. Go back into our globe. We can open this story up. Fast forward time just a little bit at a time. And our reporter is back. The reason we wanted to wait for Catherine to come back rather than sending Frederick out. Oh, and we're not paused at the moment. That's not a good thing. Is because Catherine has more skills. So she'll do this a little bit quicker. That's the reason we wanted to go ahead and do that. While we were waiting for them to hand in their report, we got a couple more stories, which is fantastic. A little entertainment story here. Thousands watch Circus Parade. We'll go ahead and send Earl out on that. No worries at all. And also a little sports story. And we have Frederick, which is good that we didn't send him out on the crime because he has a little bit of skill in sports. He can go out and do that. We'll go ahead and fast forward again, wait for everyone to come back. And you'll notice since we only have three of the cartog of the telegraphers. I, I don't know why that word is tripping me up so much. Uh, we can only have three stories at a time. You see these lights up here? This shows what they're doing. So we have one current story that is being researched by a reporter and we have two idle lines. So they should start reporting on new stories. But there's only one story left to research this week. So that's why there's, there is only one working right now. And that last story is a sports story. We can go ahead and send Frederick out on that and we should be pretty much good to go. The only thing that we really need to do now is manually, you can manually fill up these, these boxes because our resupplier isn't fantastic at his job. Unfortunately, there's no room left, so we can just store that up here for the moment and that should be fine. He'll eventually use that, but the printers take a lot of printing paper. So we can just 
shove all of this paper that we got delivered down here into here, take a little bit of a load off our resupplier. You'll notice that resupply, the paper also goes into the toilets and the telegraphing stations, which is fantastic to know. We're actually gonna put some of that paper into there because we were almost out there. Uh, so yeah, paper is used in more than just the printers, which is fantastic to know if you are of a low on paper when you're trying to print, you can actually steal some from the telegraphers, which is fantastic. Uh, we should have enough. If we go ahead and let these stories run on the side here, you can see when they're ready to print. Everyone is working hard. Everyone's doing a fantastic job. We should have no problem getting all of these stories done by Sunday, which is when our paper goes out to print. So we'll fast forward. Time to roll the presses and we can finally assemble our first newspaper. You have until the end of Sunday to get all of your things done. At the end of Sunday, the game will automatically pause so you make sure you can make sure you get your paper out. This is the printing screen. And I like to look at my stories in the fully collapsed mode so that I can see the tags because that's really all we care about. Good thing to note here, we have two pages because we have two printing presses. These big ones here get a doubled or tripled. So laying this out in a smart way is definitely something you want to consider. Looking at this, we have two stories that have crime. We can link those two with the society, and then we can put two sports on the second page with an entertainment story. And that will be perfect. I think that is the way to get our perfect score. Now in this three times, we want to put the one that has two tags because it will multiply both of those. And then we want to put crime, which is going to boost this story. And we want to put the other society story, which is also going to boost based on the stories on that page. Now down here, it doesn't really matter where we put things, but we'll put the one of the sports stories in the big thing because that's where we're getting our buff. And that's how that works. Let me just explain the screen just a little bit. We have negative tags. We currently have zero. This is basically if a story is bad or if you have like a week old story that you want to run, you'll get a little bit of a negative buff to that or a nerf to that to that newspaper here we have tag combos which is what i was talking about having these two sports articles on the same page is one and then having these two crime stories on the same page is another one and having these two society stories on the same page is the third here we just have how many bronze tags we have so each of these are a bronze tag as we get further into the game we'll start getting silver tags and gold tags which are worth more in terms of multipliers, this is just basically how many things we have on the folds, right? So we have two stories here, which is being times by three, which gives us 3000. And then down here, we just have one that's being times by two, which gives us an extra 2000 points. In terms of sales, we currently have no subscribers. That's something we'll get into in a little bit. We are going to do 7,000 loose paper sales. They are selling for 15 cents a piece. 15,000 total sales, which is going to bring us in two and a half or $2.25,000. We have no advertising. Our total revenue for this is going to be $2,250. You can see our current paper down here is 250. That is why we bought extra paper. Required paper is 150. So we started with 100. That wasn't going to be enough to get this out because we did build both our page modules right at the start. So that is everything good to go. I don't know what happens if you flip this board. This is all of the new stuff in a, in a new update that's just come out. So we'll get into that once we reach it. But that should be good to go. We can go ahead and print our very first newspaper. Fantastic. And that's the game, basically. That is the game. If you guys think you would enjoy this game, it gets a little bit more complicated as we go along. But yeah, definitely worth a try. 15,000 newspapers sold. I guess there will always be some cry to reroute. Yes, there will be. And a newspaper for the people. Perfect. You go to our earnings overview. Have a look here. We made a good 2250. Basically just all the stats that we had before. Unfortunately, we couldn't pay off any of our loans, but that is what it is. This is our expenses recap. We paid $1,030 in wages and we paid $160 in interest. So not too concerned about that interest. We will pay that back as soon as we can though, just to maximize our profits, right? And we can leave our recap. This is the map screen. So there are a couple of things to think about here for sure. Firstly, you have a mafia hideout right here. This guy will give you secret quests 
uh, or bonus quests that you can complete throughout throughout the weeks to get some more influence and some other stuff, some more money. We have the Empire State Building here, which is where our city will give us quests. And you have to choose between working for the Mafia or the city each week. That is what it is. The other thing to keep in mind, right, is we have in this industry, industry city harbor, we have some more printing stuff, right? So we can unlock the page module three, four, five, and that is a good thing to start walking towards early. The other thing we have is the radio tower, which is gonna allow us to unlock more telegraphing stations, right? So that we can expand and we can cover more stories in a week to allow us to print, you know, more pages of newspaper, get more readers, all of that stuff. So what I like to do is I like to come up to Williamsburg first, is my first port of call. And then I like to work my way down to Tompkinsville, right? So we go here, 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 and then we'll unlock the radio tower, Industry City Harbor, and we can start building out our newspaper a little bit that way. So starting off in Williamsburg, these guys are gonna want us to focus on crime and sports. That should not be a problem whatsoever. We should be able to do that, absolutely. And we basically don't have anything else to do in this screen just yet. The other thing to keep in mind is if you go to places like the Forest Hill Stadium, you can unlock like sports clipboards, right? And this will give you an item that you can buff, use to buff certain reporters and certain other things, right? So we also get like medium plants and clocks, nutrition, we get a gumball machine rather than our water coolers, stuff like that, right? So that is something to consider as well. And you can sort of sort down here and figure out where the things that you are currently looking for are, or you can just click around and have a look yourself. With that done, that job selected, we can go ahead and go back to our newspaper, make sure to pause the game straight away, and we'll open up our globe, have our little building to the right here. I don't think we need to add anything just yet. We already added this in. And the other thing we can do is because Williamsburg wants crime and sports, we can go ahead and focus on prioritize crime stories and sports stories. That means they'll come in before everything else, just to make sure that we can get them done. But with four reporters and three telegraphers, we shouldn't have too much of a problem getting all of the stories, all eight stories done for our paper. We only need six to fill out our paper, so we can skip them if we don't need them, but that is something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit and get our first stories coming in. We already have a crime here. We'll definitely want to go ahead and take this because we also get a new object. So we'll go ahead and send Catherine out to research the looting of the prosecutor building. Sounds good. We have a horse virus outbreak, which is going to be a sports story, which we want to prioritize in this paper because we're going to get a lot of combo if we try and get a lot of sports stories in. The other thing to consider here, though, is we do have Clarence here with three skill in society and Earl also has two skill in society. At this stage of the game, we're not really stretched for time too much. So we are going to just go ahead and straight up take the sports story to make sure Williamsburg is happy. And then we also have another sports story over here. We could also make this entertainment, but I don't think that makes much sense. So we're going to head and send Clarence out. He's going to be a little bit slow on that because he doesn't have the skill for it, but that will be absolutely fine. Go ahead and fast forward until something interesting happens. And we get a crime board. This is going to buff the stats of all our crime reporters, which will be absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and build that straight away. We have our crime board here. And again, this is why I put them next to each other so they can share that crime board and they can both get buffed without having to buy multiple, right? We should also check on our paper situation. We currently only have a hundred, so we're going to have to order more. I like to just do the large deliveries every time. We'll watch for that to come in and then we can drag them up manually. So all of those stories are done. Our telegraphers are working again. A couple stories coming in. Another sports story, which is fantastic. And it's got two tags as well. We've got a triumphant sports story. Good to see. And another crime story, right? So this is going to be society and crime when we get to it. I believe this means we can research all three. So let's go ahead and set up Clarence on this. He'll get this done in 15 hours rather than a day because he has extra skill in it. And then we should be able to do both of these and get a grand total of three tags, have the society tag, 
the adventurous tag and the crime tag and that will be absolutely fantastic our last story for the day is going to be either politics or economy i think honestly we don't really need this i'm feeling like we're gonna have enough stories in crime and in um what's the other one sports that we probably won't need this but we have the reporters currently available to us that we can probably just do both anyway We'll go ahead and get the economy story going because that's going to be a little bit quicker. We'll also train up Earl a little bit in the economy and he will slowly level up over time. So it's worth doing the story even if we don't currently need it. All right, our crime is done. And as you can see here, we can send out two reporters now to get extra tags, right? So we want to definitely send Catherine onto the crime part of this. And then we have to wait for Clarence to come back. He's just, his hands are currently full. That will be fine. We'll send him out as soon as he gets back, which should be right about now. And that should be done in about 15 hours time. We only have two stories left. It's currently Wednesday. We should absolutely not have any trouble. Breaking news coming out though. The unemployment numbers are out. Our Department of Labor says 1.5 million extra workers lost their jobs since the beginning of the reception. Recession, sorry with no end in sight, but hey, tragedy sells, right? So this is breaking news. We only have a day to make this work, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate because we currently have to do both sides of this. Clarence is out, he's doing something else. Earl is almost back, so we'll send him on this as soon as we can. But what this is gonna do is gonna, it's gonna make economy stories sell two times the amount of sales if we can complete this right and this will also give us an economy story so it's a good thing to do it's unfortunate that this week we're focusing on crime and sports but it is what it is we'll try and get it done anyway as soon as earl gets back we'll send him out on this just to get it started and hopefully that means we can get this done when clarence gets back he comes back in seven hours so we'll keep an eye on that brand new story coming in with entertainment we should be able to get this done. That shouldn't be a problem. Clarence is almost back, so we'll make sure we prioritize this. Clarence is back, sent him out. And then we'll go to our entertainment story. Catherine can be done on that. And our last story of the week is going to be in about four hours, we can send Earl out on this and we should get everything done before Sunday, I hope. It's going to be tight with that extra breaking news story coming in, but we have no more stories to research, so that should be good. We'll just leave the screen up in case anything happens. We did manage to get economy is this week's hot topic. That was from the breaking news story. That's good to go. And now we just have five stories currently in the plane in the in the pipeline. It looks like this protest against hunger is not going to finish in time, right? You can see it's going to take two and a half days to get that done, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's a society and tragic story. We don't need that this week. We're really focusing on crime, sports, and now obviously economy. So we don't actually need this story. What we can do instead is make sure that these are all gonna be done in time. It looks like they should be done without any issues. So we'll leave that story. If we need it for the following week, we can use it then. So absolutely no problem at all. We'll just fast forward until the end of Sunday and see how many of these stories we can actually get out to the world. And with time to spare, we actually got everything done, which is surprising. I'll just show you this here. If we fast forward to the end of Sunday, you get a last chance, must print now. This means that the game is gonna pause, it's gonna take you to the printing screen, and that should be good to go. You can actually exit the printing screen if you press pre, it, P, sorry. And the only reason I want to do that is because I'm not sure if we're going to have enough paper. It looks like our resupply guy has given everyone enough paper so we can open up the newspaper and get this going. So how do we want to lay this out? I'm thinking this is definitely going to be our top story because it has three different tags. And then we want to make sure that we have as much crime on this page as possible. And if we can get a society story on this page, that probably also wouldn't be a bad idea. We definitely want crime here though. The question is, do we put society here? Okay, so there's a couple of options and I'm not sure which is better. So I'm gonna just do both and see which makes us more money. I'm gonna leave that as our first page and then we'll get all our three sports stories on this second page here. 
that will get us a total of 3,300. And that's not too bad, right? My question is, if we remove both this story and this story, and instead put in both our economy stories, so they'll be each other, that's also 3,300. So either way, it's not going to really matter. Uh, this is probably... I mean, yeah. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. They're both exactly the same. The only other thing we could try is putting both of these here instead. And that would actually get us to 3450. So only running one sports story, but having both the economy page, uh, economy stories on the second page is going to be more ideal. So a little bit of a min-maxi thing you can do right here. Oh, and that's actually good to know. I didn't think we were going to have enough paper and we didn't. We require 230. We currently only have 200 in our printer. If we click out of that screen, we can just drag our paper up here to fill that up. And you can see now that we have 300 in there, we should be absolutely fine. I just want to show you what happens if you try and print without enough paper. So if we go back down to 200, go into our printing screen and we say start, it's going to cost us a $90 in an emergency fee to restock that printer with paper. That is something we do not want to pay if we can avoid it. So we'll go ahead and stick that paper in there. Unfortunately, we were still under $1,000, so we can't pay back any of our loan just yet. But with that all done and dusted, we should be good to go ahead and print a second newspaper. Go through the printers there, and there we go. 23,000 newspapers sold. A quality newspaper about money deserves my money. And who are we as a society? Perfect. We have one record sales. We have two district. And yeah, 23,000 sales. Total of 4,000 in our bank account, which is fantastic. 3,500 in revenue. We have officially gotten Williamsburg as a a completed quest that gives us two influence points which is what you use to buy new equipment and 1090 in wages these will slowly go up over time again paying four percent interest but we have 2800 in the bank account which is absolutely fantastic we have production julia and agnes have both increased their level a little bit so you have now two typesetting levels and you have two resupply levels so that is fantastic then we get to go ahead and meet our Mafia guy. I knew your uncle very well and I'm saddened by his sudden disappearance. I hope nothing happened to my business associate. So this guy wants me to print no politics this week, which shouldn't be a problem. And for that, he's going to give us four influence points and $500. I've invested a lot in your business, you see. Oh, never mind. I couldn't read it in time. <laughs> Uh, everyone can print a good story, but print, not printing politics this week might pose a challenge. I don't want these so-called leaders fear-mongering your readers. We can accept that. We just have to make sure that we don't print any politics this week. No problems at all. If we go down here, we can get East New York. Thankfully, they don't want any politics, so we just have crime and alarming. Alarming tags come from crime and economy, so that should be no problem at all. We'll focus on those two tags this week. With that done and dusted, we can go back to our newspaper and we are good to go. These three stories stay here for the week and if we need them, we can print them in this week's paper if we don't have enough stories to fill it out. It's going to give us a little bit of a negative buff to our sales, but it's better than not putting stories in there at all. And with that, with two weeks out of the way, the basics out of the way, I think we're going to leave the episode here. If you guys want to see this series continue, I don't think it's going to be a really long series as this game can get a little bit grindy, a little bit, you know, it's it's not complete yet. They're still adding things. I would like to get to the, you know, photographers, the map makers and the illustrators, as well as try out some ads and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see a series on this series, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel or you've been here a while and you just haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, happy building, happy reporting. Bye, guys.